All right, ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. Shout out to Filipino News, Filipino News. Mayweather likes to use a shoulder roll. It's, it's his trademark move. Every picture you see him with his left arm down, his shoulder high, his chin tucked, and his right hand up. One thing you can't do is you can't shoulder roll six punches. You can shoulder roll three, one, two, three, but if you got six or seven coming your way, you're probably going to eat three of them. And that's all you need in a boxing match is to land three of them. If Pacquiao shoots his left to his body, when he rolls back this way, left to the body, and a left up top, Floyd's not going to be able to roll those. He's going to roll into them. And I think if he rolls into those lefts for Manny, Manny's going to have to get a shot at hurting Floyd really bad. Uh, as far as putting him down, I don't think he'll exactly put him down. But I think Manny will definitely hurt Floyd. Manny's going to punch him fast and he's going to hit him hard. Uh, just because of that shoulder roll. Manny throws punches and bunches. The shoulder roll's biggest flaw is you can't defend against six or seven shots at a time. So I think that's exactly how that's going to work. Now, here you see Manny Pacquiao trying to execute pretty much the same thing. Except Floyd's not in the shoulder roll there. He's just he's using the double guard. What the guy is asking for though is a double left hook. So he's got a straight left here and then a second left. And Manny Pacquiao has done those kinds of shots before. Actually in other fights. Um, it's a left to the body and then a left up top. Uh, he did it to Floyd actually in round 8. He, he did it but he didn't have the opportunity to do it very often. The thing about Mayweather is this. He's not just doing the shoulder roll defense, and that's what I try to explain to people. So here, you see Floyd laying back. His lead foot is in the way, so Pacquiao has to get around that lead foot. He can't throw combinations that way, which is right here. This posture here does not allow Pacquiao to throw combinations. Even if he was to throw a double left hook, you see him throw multiple lefts there. First he started off with right, left, and then he started doubling up his left hooks, and he couldn't hit Floyd. And the reason he couldn't hit Floyd is because Floyd's in a three-dimensional space. His head's way back there, and he's not just using the shoulder roll, he's also moving up and down, a la Perna Whitaker, but in his own way. And that is just very difficult to hit. It's very difficult because the person's moving towards you, away from you, and at an angle to you with the shoulder up. In addition to that, you see Floyd controlling range. If you try to even step in, I'm not even going to bother with the shoulder roll right now. I'm going to just catch you with a straight right and a left. Floyd, like I said before, the angle he has is he's, 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 his foot is near to you, but his head is way away from you. He literally is creating a three-dimensional box here in which his head is very far away from his opponent. And his opponent can't really get around this defense to get to him. This is the very difficult thing about this. These two cross arms here. This arm can come up to protect the chest. This arm is crossed to protect the body. No hooks can really get around there because the ropes protect, you see, the sides of him. So you can't really hook him. You have to try and get a nice angle to hook him. And you can't get the angle because his lead foot's in the way. You have to get around the lead foot to get the hook. You never have the ideal distance. You can loop your hooks, but you're not really going to hit. In addition to his give in the face, in addition to Philly Shell, in addition to the high guard, in addition to the wide stance, this is an, another stance. Now the hands are closer to the opponent. See him circle the hands to kind of... But he's really trying to steal that right hand right there. Now what he does is he feints as if he's going to jab Pacquiao here. See the faint jab, so the hand pulls in. He could have actually hooked Pacquiao as well. Faint the jab and he really landed the straight right. Pacquiao just couldn't see it. And he landed the straight right twice, right? So again, some people think that Floyd is just about the Philly show. He's just about the shoulder roll. No, he's a whole lot more than that. Let me show you it in action again. This is it in action. Both hands out, see? Notice how he changes levels as he steps in. Pulls back out. Again, you faint the jab and then you come with a straight right. See Pacquiao blocking the jab, watch this hand go down. You see, he was blocking for the jab. Instead the straight right came. Here's another thing. He's in the shell right now, right? Watch this. The shell can unwind and Floyd can hook you. He can do all kinds of things from the shell. And he's very relaxed with it because he's, he's watching for you to come to him. Then Pacquiao gets check hooked on his head. It wasn't perfectly check hooked, but he's still check hooked. Pacquiao's still looking for that angle. Now is it because Pacquiao came in straight? No. 
Pacquiao was trying to slide in at an angle. Floyd pivoted on him. So it made Pacquiao look like he was coming in straight. Here's Pacquiao throwing a combination. Throws to the back of the body. He throws a hook that is missed. And Floyd check hooks him in the process. Okay. Pacquiao swings a really crazy uh, cross left, left cross. He got that angle as he's pivoting, and Floyd still was able to block it and get out the way. Check hook and move out the way. Again, here now Floyd is using the high guard instead of the instead of the uh, Philly shell. But mind you, the, it's still the same principle he's utilizing. Now all of this to tell you again, Floyd uses different kinds of guards. He doesn't just use the Philly shell, and he doesn't mostly use the Philly shell as people think. He's changing all the time. Here you see him in the shell, and then he just unleashes, right? He's in the shell here. He's in the shell here, but he's doing other things with the shell. You understand what I'm saying? Here he's not in the shell at all. And here he's not in the shell at all. And that's just Mayweather. So when people say, oh, you know, we got a remedy for the Philly Shell. The other thing is, Philly Shell is a form of defense, right? Floyd ain't gonna stay in the shell. He's a counter puncher as well. So in the middle of your throwing of a six punch combination, he gonna catch you in the middle of that. Or he'll catch you at the end of it. So you expend all that energy in your six punch combination and he hits you in the stomach, or hits you in the head, or hits you in the chest. Now more of your energy has been sapped because you've expended all that energy and then afterwards you get hit in those vital places. Like I showed you guys in the video before, the champions were falling hard. Uh, Sugar Ray Robinson, basically, when he fought Joey Maxim, Joey Maxim invested to the body so that by the late round, Sugar Ray Robinson was drained and then Joey Maxim went to work on him. He started chopping him up. You invested the body. You gotta protect your head, of course, so you don't get countered. When you invest in the body, he's gonna pay dividends down the stretch, just what it is. That's boxing 101. Anyway, on that note, you guys have a great one.